A bloody end to a bloody life. James Whitey Bulger was found dead. The 89-year-old former crime boss was killed in his prison cell in the United States. Until his arrest in 2011, he was one of America's most wanted. He was serving two life sentences for the murders of 11 people when he was killed. But Bulger had a secret. He was an informant for the FBI. He was transferred to a West Virginia prison just a day before he was killed. This has led some to suspect his death was organized by a rival gang. The man suspected of murdering Bulger is Freddy Geis. Geis is serving a life sentence of his own for killing another former mob boss, Al Bruno. In the 1970s and 1980s, Bulger was the head of the Winter Hill Gang in Boston. But at the time, organized crime was beginning to lose its grip on the United States. Crime families were involved in lucrative businesses like drug trafficking, illegal gambling, and loan sharking. So what caused their decline? Courts had struggled to convict mobsters, in part because they bribed public officials or intimidated witnesses. But all this began to change. In 1970, Congress passed the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO. This allowed prosecutors to tackle entire criminal organizations instead of just targeting individual criminals. RICO proved to be one of the most powerful tools in taking down the Mafia. By the 21st century, the Mafia was a shadow of its former self. But organized crime was able to survive after the 9-11 attacks on New York City as law enforcement shifted resources to counter terrorism. So how active is the mob today? And is it still a threat to society? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.